Hello everyone, Yotam here, and today we'll be reviewing the Keyscape Virtual Instrument. Keyscape is a collection of 36 different keyboard instruments, ranging from grand and upright pianos to electric pianos, harpsichords, clavichords, and all sorts of exotic keyboard instruments. Now, if you have a $300 keyboard, you can easily buy this and turn your sound quality into something like a $3,000 keyboard, like a North Stage or something. So, seeing as the Keyscape launched at 2014, and it has been 10 years now, is it too long in the tooth, or is it still viable as of today? So, as of May 2024, you can buy Keyscape for $400. So um, just as, as a side note, I'm not affiliated with Spectrasonics. This is not a paid review. This is a honest impression as I bought it with my own money. Just for fun, here is a comparison between Keyscape's Yamaha C7 Concert Grand Samples and Kawai's own internal piano engine featuring the SK Concert Grand. Let's see how does Keyscape's bright Yamaha C7 sample set fares against Kawai's own EX sample, which is a different grand piano sampled by Kawai, which has a brighter characteristic as well. By the way, this is only the first part of the review, so stick around for more because in the next part I'm going to be demonstrating and reviewing the electric pianos, the Rhodes, the Wurlitzers, etc., as well as the more exotic keyboard instruments.
In addition to the clean grand piano, Keyscape features two upright pianos, both of which are vintage saloon ragtime style. So I'm gonna be playing a lot of that now to demonstrate. And one of these upright pianos is extremely special because it's what's called a tack piano. So basically it's a modification in which nails or small metallic objects are mounted on the hammers. So every time a hammer strikes, it gets this sort of uh, metallic teeny sound. So it's asso associated with early 20th century sound, silent movies as well. So let's see how it sounds like, I'm excited. So, final thoughts. What do I think about Keyscape? Does it hold its own in 2024? Well, to be honest with you, when I bought my copy, it was many, many years ago, when Keyscape was practically brand new. And back then, it was the thing to have. Now, if I'm being honest with you, today, if I were to buy a new VST piano plugin, I wouldn't be buying Keyscape. Why? Well, if you're interested, mainly in acoustic piano. That is, you're a piano guy, you don't care about electronic harpsichords and, you know, celestas and stuff. Well, Keyscape only has one, one sample of a grand piano, of an actual clean, not like a saloon thing, an actual grand piano, the Yamaha C7. And it doesn't offer anything else. So we're talking about a 10-year-old sample in terms of the uh, grand piano category, and that's it. There hasn't been uh, any updates. As well as the price that back then I bought it for practically the same price. It, it, it hasn't dropped or, or anything. It was, again. So if it were, if Keyscape cost today about half the price it is, then I would say maybe yes. 
but I'm sure that other newer VSTs, such as uh, Pianotech, etc., can offer you not only better sounding pianos, but also way more variety of samples and models of various manufacturers, Japanese, European, American uh, grand pianos. So all in all, Keyscape is worth it depending on, are you a piano guy? If yes, then no. If you're also interested in Rhodes, well, it says harpsichords, all sorts of interesting and, um, well, unique toys to add to your compositions and tunes, well, stick around for the next episode of this review and maybe you'll change your mind and you think, well, actually, hearing those sounds, hmm, that got me more interested. So, with that being said, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.